Cynthia, why do you look so sad? Oh, my aunt died last week. Oh no, I'm so sorry, what happened? Well, she had a heart attack, but when the emergency doctor treated her, he had no idea she had a latex allergy, and so when he used his gloves, she had an allergic reaction and died. I'm so sorry. Well, my aunt was in a similar situation a few months ago, but she had her medical information inside her sample me app, and her doctor knew what she was allergic to. Do you see the problem that my friend Cynthia had? Her family did not record or remember her aunt's long medical history, which led to inaccurate treatment and resulted in her aunt's death. According to statistics, medical error is amongst the top five leading causes of death. And up to 50% of emergency errors are due to wrong immediate medication. And up to $21 billion alone is spent on medical error and preventable treatment errors. Our app allows people to record and retrieve important medical information so they can receive the right treatment. Our app allows users to input future appointments, allergies, medications, past surgeries, and their basic medical log. Our competition is Health Tracker, Simple, and My Life Record. All of these apps contain a lot of bugs and lack organization, and they all cost money. One of our competitions is paper, but who really keeps paper with them at all times? It's more likely for a person to have their phone with them. Research shows that 96 million people in the US alone think that using an electronic health record system is very, use very useful in keeping track of medical history. Male, males and females between the age group of 25 to 34 years are most likely to use Android phones. And they're also most, more likely to have children, aging parents, even babies and pets that um, are at risk of health complications and may need to have their medical history recorded for future reference. As an emergency responder and taking EMT classes and working in the field, I've noticed that the main problem that EMTs have is that we don't have access to a lot of medical information at, on scene, and that creates a problem because we aren't confident about giving them the, tr the correct treatment. We interviewed many doctors and all of them agree that this app would help inc speed up the appointment process to up to five to 10 minutes. In addition, as an EMT and after interviewing many EMTs, we've all agreed that this app would definitely help EMTs become more confident in giving the correct treatment to patients. Um, as a result, our app would help that people keep, that, keep track of all of their medical history in order to provide fast and efficient care. Some of our future plans are to target more specific people as well as have more language options and be able to target or like find nearby hospitals or pharmacies. We also we would also like to have multiple tracking of more than one person for like a family and be able to have emergency responders use this as an easy way to find medical information during an emergency. And please support our app. Thank you. So this, this process of digitizing some aspects of medical records is a, is a big challenge, and I think it's um, an important issue. Something that a number of organizations have taken on, even Google and Google Help. So can you speak to what you foresee as the biggest challenge, either on the consumer side of people putting their information into your app, or even on the user side of like doctors, AMTs, accessing it? What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge in having massive adoption? Um, do you mean like what we're solving? Yeah, and sort of speaking okay. to, like you clearly presented sort of the problem yeah. and some of the data around like money that's being spent on this and there are medical errors, so there's clearly a problem. And there are many people who've tried to solve it, yeah. so I'm sort of curious and how you, what you foresee as the biggest challenge in the solution you've presented. Okay, so um, our biggest challenge that we saw was that um, like if a car crash happened and you have no way of like 
communicating with um, EMTs or doctors about their allerg your allergies or medications, which are very pertinent in order for them to be confident and give them your, an accurate treatment based on maybe even conditions that you have. Um, so that's the biggest problem and what our app solves is that they have access to that. And um, maybe through, because EMTs and policemen all use this system with a SD card and they just take it out and plug it into maybe um, a system that can look up their medical information through this app. So quick follow-up, I guess, so are, do you feel like you're building on existing user behavior? So do all EMTs already yes. look on people's phones? Oh, um, no, we don't. That's oh. the problem that we're trying to solve is that they have no way of looking or getting infor medical information from patients. So how will they know to look on the phone? To well, get that? one thing that we want is maybe to work with these um, EMTs or hospitals um, to integrate this as maybe into their database and maybe have stickers on um, patients' phones. I mean, EMTs and policemen already look at people's phones just to identify who the person is. So maybe this app would also increase another way that they get information. Yeah, I, I had a similar question. Uh, the TSA uses special locks, so they give you special locks you can put on your luggage that only they, in theory, have the key to open to inspect your baggage. In a similar way, you could imagine a special unlock mode on a phone uh, to discover information in an emergency. Um, but I think it is a good question because when there isn't widespread adoption of this, and you're typically talking about people who are unconscious when they arrive on the scene, um, how you know why? How would you know to, to look? Is there anything that you can use the phone to do because it's a, a smart device uh, to alert you automatically or alert the, the first responders automatically? <laughs> oh well, I there well we did have the sticker idea, which is um, I mean they already look at the phone, so having a sticker there to tell them oh we also. Have, like I have this app that also has this information. Um, it also um, helps them figure out that, oh, that I have this app. One suggestion would be that once you have the data in the app, that you could then preload it into other emergency databases that are yeah. available to the county. Yeah, and um, that's actually our future plan. It's that hospitals and even pharmacies and EMTs can incorporate this into a database, and they can also keep track of um, maybe um, how common are certain prescriptions or like conditions and um, help to improve a lot of areas about those. This is really specific to the car example, but it could be interesting to have integration where if there was a car accident, the car, the computers in the car could alert yeah. people who arrived, doesn't it? 